welcome back to another edition of Virtual DJ Tips. Uh, I'd like to just thank everybody that has subscribed to the channel and anybody that's new watching. Hopefully you subscribe as well. Today we are going to dive into the POI editor and remix points. Now, you may wonder what a remix point is. A remix point is essentially a cue point that you can use in the sampler. We're going to dive right in and have a look. I have a track here. I'm just going to load into a deck. And we're going to open up the POI editor. And as you can see, I have it selected to show all. And just the first beat, which is right here. Because that's the first defined beat of the song. Now, you may wonder why this is all blank here. I have purposely gone in and deleted all the uh, points of interest so that we can have a clearer view of what remix points are and what they do. So, first step is to uh, listen to our track from the playhead. Um, it's the first beat, so it should be, if we zoom in just a little bit here, you can see that it's the first defined beat. If we press play on our track, Oh, well, it's going to ask me on the headphones because I don't have a headphone channel hooked up. I'm going to select OK. We hear our song. So let's go back to the selected spot. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the first beat here. I'm just going to move my playhead right back and it looks like I moved my first beat by accident. It's very important because you want it to be gridded properly. So I'm going to select new and I'm going to call this uh, remix one. You can name them whatever you'd like and we're going to call it a remix point. And then it's going to ask for a marker type. Um, I'm not going to use a cue point, I'll probably use a marker point, or if I don't want to see any of it, I'll just make it invisible. So we'll call it marker only so there's a good visual, and we'll move into our track a little further. we got to find that other spot where it's just perfect to remix. Maybe we'll, uh, there we go, there's a good spot. Move my playhead to about there. We'll zoom in, make sure that we're on the beat. And I'll call it new, call it remix two. And again, it's a remix point. And once again, I just want to make it a marker only. So if I slide down my track a little bit here, maybe I want a quiet part. That's pretty good. Take my playhead, move it back, select new again. We'll call it remix three. Another remix point. Once again, just a marker. Zoom out of our track. Let it play a bit so we can get the playhead off of the marker. And I'll grab it and I'll move it to, oh, let's see. That looks like another good beat where it, where it comes back. I'll just slide back over, sorry about that. And I'll put it right. Yeah, that's pretty good right there. So last remix point, new remix four. Remix point, once again, marker, just for visual purposes. Uh, it might be best to use it as a uh, invisible so that you don't have, if you, especially if you have a lot of remix points so it doesn't uh, conflict with what you're seeing. I'll close this and you're wondering now you've got one, two, three, four, but no way to trigger these remix points. So how do you trigger the remix points? You go over to your side view, click, you'll see your sampler. 
you right click and you select the first one which is remix mode now you've got your remix points that you've put into place remix one remix two remix three remix four now these will stay in time just like a hot cue would so let's play around and jump back and forth with a couple of remix points so that you can get the idea of it and they're fully quantized so if you're off beat it'll keep it on beat So I give you a pretty good idea how remix points work. As I said, you can use hot cues, but the remix point is really handy. And if we go back into our POI editor and we switch all our remix points to invisible, one, two, three and four and we get out you can see all the markers are gone but the remix points are still in the sampler area so very good power feature uh, for a lot of users especially people that like to use uh, you know a hundred different cue points or whatever just um, they were remixing with hot cues that way this is just an alternative to that keeps everything on time and on beat so you can switch right to the remix mode and jump back and forth maybe save yourself a little time go back to your first remix point uh, um, if you're coming to the end of your track so that you can transition into deck two lots of different uses hope you understand how it works if you haven't already subscribed to the channel make sure that you subscribe so that you get all the new content that's coming out uh, and be the first ones to get it thank you for watching until next time keep your head in the mix